On November 11th, every year, we celebrate a special holiday called Veterans Day. It is a day when we honor people in our country who have served in the military. It takes place on November 11th because on that day, World War I ended. It was during the 11th hour of the 11th day of the 11th month of 1918. It originally was called Armistice Day because that is when the armistice with Germany went into effect. Armistice is just a fancy word that means cease fire, or that both countries agreed they would no longer fight. The poppy is recognized as a symbol for Veterans Day because it is the first flower that would grow on the graves of fallen soldiers in Europe. A very famous poem was written about World War I and the poppies. It is called In Flanders Fields. Flanders Fields is one of the places where the soldiers were buried. Here is the poem read aloud by Joseph and Joshua Roselius. In Flanders Fields, the poppies will blow between the crosses, row on row, that, make our, that mark our place. And in the sky, the larks, the larks still bravely sing, fly scarce, heard, heard a man, a mud, a mu, a mi, amid the guns below. We are the dead. Short days ago, we lived, fell down, saw sunset grown, loved, and we were loved. And now we lie in Flanders fields. Take our quarrels with the foe. To your fallen hands we throw the torch. Be yours to hold it high. If ye breaks, faith will with ye us who die. We shall not sleep, the poppies grow in Flanders Field. Because the poppy is a symbol for Veterans Day, we will be making projects using poppies this week. A famous artist named Georgia O'Keeffe also loved to use poppies in her artwork. She liked to use many different types of flowers and she is famous for her paintings where the flowers are very, very large or up close. She is considered the mother of American modernism. Now look at this painting of one of her poppies. Can you see how it is so large, like we are holding it close to our face and staring right into it? Now look at this next one called Oriental Poppies. In this painting, the flowers are so large, they cover it, the entire surface of the canvas. Look how dramatic the poppies are with their very dark black center and the bright orange and red petals. It gives a very nice contrast to the painting. They are one of my favorite flowers to paint. I think you will love painting them too. We are going to be creating poppy artwork this week inspired by Georgia O'Keeffe. Try to make your poppies nice and large to fill up the whole paper just like she did. Hey boys and girls, it is Halloween week here in the art room, but we're gonna be talking about the next project that we're doing, which is one for Veterans Day, um, and it's going to be using poppies. So Joseph is gonna help us uh, make a poppy painting um, using a uh, technique of printmaking actually we're gonna be using foil and paint and we're gonna print uh, poppies on a painted background so you ready okay these are the supplies that you're gonna need for today from your art bag I need you to get out a pencil and a paintbrush I'm gonna be giving you a piece of foil your paper and some paint to share. Okay, 
So Joseph, I want you to take your pencil and turn your paper over. We're going to write your name on the back. Your name, dash your grade, dash your teacher's initial. Good job. Okay. So then on the front, I need you to take your paintbrush, friends, and you see this kind of bluish turquoise color of paint? We're going to use that to quickly paint the background of our paper. So we're just going to get some paint on our brush and just go quickly back and forth like this. Joseph, can you do it with me? Quickly back and forth. It doesn't have to all be filled in. There can be some white showing through. This is called a dry brush technique when you kind of, you don't use a whole lot of paint, you just kind of go quickly to get some color on your paper. Okay, once you have most of your paper covered, you can rinse your brush. That's what Joseph's looks like. This is what mine looks like. Rinse your brush and dry it on the paper towel. And now we're going to get some of the red paint on our brush. This is acrylic paint, so it will not come out of your clothes. Get some of the red paint on your brush. This time you're going to paint on the foil. Okay, you're going to paint directly on the foil. And you're just going to make kind of a wavy circle. Nice and big, nice and big, fill up your whole square with a wavy red circle and then fill it in with red. Get a lot of paint on it. You need a lot of paint on this for this to work. This is a printmaking technique. Okay, put a lot of paint on that piece of foil and fill it all in. You really, you really have to put a lot of paint on it. So a little bit more, Joseph, a little bit more paint. Get more paint on your brush. More paint on your brush. All right, good. Now rinse your brush real good for me. Rinse your brush. Rinse your brush. Okay, now we're going to get some black on our brush. And we're going to put a few dots of black in the center because poppies have those nice, dramatic black centers. Black on your brush. So Joseph, get some black on your brush and put a few dots in the center. More. A few more. Get some more black on your brush. Some down here. Okay. Now we're going to get a little bit more black and we're going to make a stem at the bottom. Okay, now what you're going to do is you're going to take your foil and turn it upside down onto your paper. You're going to press with your hands and rub the back of the foil very hard. And it will transfer the paint onto your background. Yep, rub it, rub it, rub it. Rub it really good. Rub, 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 rub. Rub it, rub it, rub it. Okay, now, are we good? Let's pull off the foil and see what it looks like. Oh, it's beautiful. That is a very large poppy, just like Georgia O'Keeffe would have made. I love it. Let's take your black that's still on your brush and just continue that stem off the paper just a little bit. 
just till it goes off the paper. Yep. Beautiful. Nice job, friends. That is your poppy, printed poppy painting in the style of Georgia O'Keeffe, just in time for Veterans Day on November 11th. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. Thanks, Joseph.